Crikey. Look at it. Look how absolutely majestic. Look at its nose. Look at its belly. Look at its tail. It's terrifying. Hello. Welcome back to LP Selfies. Let's play Earthbound. Last episode, we taught the tendas how to not be so shy. We fed them a bottle of whiskey and set them loose on the world, and now they're doing all right. We also got a, another shiny spot location and uh, delved, I guess, deeper under the surface to this land here where we are graced with a unique perspective with the camera zoomed out pretty far away, it would seem. And there are a, uh, a couple of dinosaurs, uh, maybe just one. Whoa, there's a big rock. It's pulsating. What is that? I don't know. It looks like it, it wants to come after us. Should we should we go introduce ourselves? I say we shall. Okay, buddy. Are you the rock? Well, we're gonna fight it, whatever it is. You confront the ego orb. Goodness gracious, look at its eyes. <laughs> its eyes are popping out of its face. Uh bash it. It's huge. Uh maybe use Freeze on it, it's huge. Uh, shoot it, it's huge. Maybe use Starstorm on it, it's huge. PSI Freeze did 392, pretty solid. I'll take that. Starstorm did close to this. Oh, look at that. Wow, we killed it very quickly. I'm so sorry, Mr. Giant Orb. You were nowhere near as uh, offensive as I had imagined you would be. Maybe that means this dinosaur over here is not as incredible either. Uh, what is this? Is that a present? It looks kind of like a present. And we can't squeeze through that gap in the trees, but we came over here. Help you open the present. There's brain food lunch. Delicious. And there's also some sort of, of pin over there. It looks like there's a tender or two inside of it. With a giant freaking sign. Let's go up here and see just exactly what the heck's going on. In case of danger, evacuate here. The boss. So what does this mean? Evacuate here. Is this... You're strange, but you smell good, so I'll tell you a secret. Did you feel the earthquake a little while ago? You know, we have earthquakes all the time here. After an earthquake, the hot springs will erupt. The blue springs are great for recovering health. The red springs are perfect for healing paralysis or drawing out poison. Good to know. I did see a blue spring. Okay. The bird right there says a strange words like hello and click click beep beep beep. Because it is, it is father. It, it, it is a phone bird. Excellent. Let's order some pizza. Uh, let's call dad and we will save because we've made a heck of a lot of progress since the last time we saved. I know we're already in the next episode, but we haven't gotten an opportunity to save off screen. So, no dad, we're not calling it a night. I'm working hard like mom, all right? We're going to continue on in the land of the lost here and hopefully bump into a Mr. Will Ferrell or Chaka. I have to imagine that uh, well, we'll be seeing neither of them, but hey, a guy can hope, right? There's the earthquake. Must mean a, uh, a geyser is erupting somewhere. Oh, you can see it down there. That's a blue one. That's good for HP. Uh, here's a big dinosaur. Let's fight it. Can we, can we kill you, big one? Wetnosaur. <laughs> Wetnosaur. Is this a moist boy? How disgusting. Okay, well, let's freeze it. You know what killed a lot of dinosaurs? Not eggs, so we're not using that. All right, Pongo used freeze. Opening up the Ice Age on him, 228. Eight. Ooh, physical damage is not too effective, it would seem. He used a biting attack, and we dodged, thankfully. Uh, but I think we're going to have to prioritize using PSI going forward. Of course, LP can continue using... Uh, his physical attack because he's got the, the likelihood of a smash attack, which is quite tantalizing. And then, of course, Farku, uh, poor, poor guy, just cannot do the psychic thing. He just can't comprehend it. So, unfortunately, he's going to continue blasting his firearms at the Wetnosaur. And hopefully, uh, yeah, we will tame this beast and eat it. It's great. Uh, 8200 XP, pretty solid. No items dropped. A little bit disappointing, but whatever. What can you do? There's another dinosaur down here. This one is purple, not to be confused with Barney, who is also purple. If we touch it from the side, it still counts as the front. Okay. The Chomposaur. This one uh, looks a little bit larger and a little bit more angry, so I am going... Nah, I'm still just going to bash it with LP. Uh, because when LP gets the smash attack, dude, it's, it's, uh, it's, 
inconceivable how strong it is. It's just immaculate. We'll freeze it with Tingle and Pongo, and hopefully uh, the combination of the three of them is enough uh, to settle this in two turns. Oh, look at that. This thing has a shield deflecting physical attacks. Okay, you you little... And it's using fire on all of us. I, I thought this was a dinosaur, not a freaking dragon. <laughs> okay, well, Mr. Mr. Dragon, I'm going to have to throw some eggs at you. And, and some more Freezy Pop and Farku. Why don't you just spy on it so that you don't get blasted once more? And then I think we should uh, be well positioned to deal with this immediately this turn. Will it be the eggs that seal the deal for us? Survey says no, uh, but we got some information on its attack and defense. Thank you, Farku. Chomp is pretty strong. It took us a, a solid couple of turns there, and it nearly killed Pongo and Farku. But it gave us 11,000 experience points, so I guess we we were, you know, amply rewarded for it. Look at this! This is a village! Hello! You guys smell really good! Who am I? Well, I'm a tender! Uh, hey! What are you doing inside our dinosaur cage? I'm going to open the door and you get out of there right now! I'm the boss, so I'll let you out. Thank you for the tender kraut. LP's tender kraut was stolen! The awful smell surrounding the group is now gone. And you said, what am I doing in the cage? It looks like you guys are in a cage. The, 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 the fencing here, the, the structure itself is surrounding you, not the dinosaurs. Uh, what can you tell me about this place? Even though I listen to the talkative mystery rock story, I don't understand what he's talking about. Why don't you see the talkative mystery rock? That rock really jabbers away. Thank you for coming all the way into this primitive country. You must be tired. To stay, I'll run you $400. Yeah, that's fine. I'm freaking bawling. I'm 12 years old running around with $15,000 in cash in my pocket. It's like the size of my freaking leg. Great. <laughs> Just, whoa, that dinosaur came out of nowhere. It's like Attack on Titan. Terrifying. There's a Tenda out there. Don't get yourself killed, buddy. Uh, there's still a few more to talk to, I think. We got an earthquake happening. Uh, have we talked to this one? Yes, that's the one talking about the rock. We made a cage for dinosaurs and locked them up. That's what my brother tells me, but I don't believe it. He's just spewing out of his cake hole. <laughs> cake hole. Perfect. What a great, what a great term. Let's play store. My friend Igo loves this game, so hi. May I help you? Sure, I'd like to buy something. If you, the ultimate bat. The holy frying pan. The shiny coin. The horn of life. Hey. That's what we need to buy stuff from the dude on the outside. Mammoth burger, luxury jerky dog. All right, so I'll buy this bat. Oh, can't buy the bat just yet. Uh, cool, cool. Customers are is right. Yes. So first off, I suppose we will buy the holy frying pan, and of course Pongo is going to take that. And what is it going to do? Off? Ooh, up, up by twenty. Yes, delicious. Uh, we've got twelve thousand more dollars, so we've got to be somewhat judicious about how we spend this because we're going to spend eight thousand of it on shiny coins. Uh, that'll leave us with forty-four hundred. Uh, it should be just enough to get two shiny coins, one horn of life, and an ultimate bat. I would ideally like to get more than one horn of life, but hey, you can't always get what you want, right? But if you try sometimes. Something, I don't know. You get what you need, right? And this is what we need. So take this talisman ribbon, and that's going to help us get another horn of life. Look at it! This has been great. This has been great. I'd like to sell you something. I want to sell you LP's big league bat. Uh, 1,500. Sure, 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 sure. And I'm going to purchase the shiny coin for LP, and then they will buy off of our person. Wow, look at that. Up by 20. They will buy off a person the lucky coin for three grand, opening up an inventory space for us to then acquire the ultimate bat. And this is uh, going to really jack up our our offense. Yeah, 178, very nice. Uh, so that is it for those, right? Yeah, we got the ultimate bat, got the frying pan, got two shiny coins. Now we just want horns of life. I'm going to buy two of them. Give one to Farku. You know what, I'm gonna buy three, because I don't know if I'll ever get back down here. I mean, I'm sure I probably could if I really wanted to, but it seems like kind of a complicated process. 
So I'm just gonna buy three. If I don't need them, whatever, it's only 1,700 each. Uh, like I said, we're freaking balling. <laughs> we're loaded. Man, can't you see? That's all for now. Tend to her like talk. Come to the Lost Underworld because we couldn't stand the quiet up above. So we established a separate tribe. I hope we can be friendly again someday. Yeah, it's a lot easier to live up above. I mean, this seems pretty nice. You've got like a whole atmosphere and everything going on here. You got plants, you got animals. What more could you need? Uh, earthquake is preventing us. Ooh, that's the red Kool-Aid up there. You're a foreigner, aren't you? I'm a worldwide tender. I was an exchange student who traveled to a country that is known as an economic superpower. My name is Ego Sticky. <laughs> I don't know if I can do anything for you. Shall I loan you some money? Oh, look at that. So that's the ATM. Cool. Fascinating. We are the same tender as those above ground. We seem different? Yeah, you know, the tender up there is shy and don't like the top. Well, the thing is, we had story time. They read from the good book and they are now able to speak. Didn't you think that the tender up above have some particularly beautiful women? They're still shy though. I mean, there's women. <laughs> they all kind of look the same to me. I don't, I don't know what beauty standards between tendas. Something that I cannot comprehend. Let's talk to the rock. You finally came, LP. Finally, you talk to me. Listen, LP, I'm going to tell you something very important. You may want to take notes. Ready? Oh, man. Okay. You're the chosen one. Your destiny is not only yours, it is the destiny of the whole universe. There will be a time in which all of you in the universe will overlap each other. It's not necessary to understand that right now. Do you remember Giant Step and on it? Yes, yes I do. That is one of your sanctuary. It is a spot which gives you power and allows you to realize all your skills. There was a monster that protected it. The monster was influenced by the power of the place. You must have beaten those monsters. You must reach all of the eight power spots in the world. When the soundstone records the melodies of all eight power spots, you can finally see your world. I'll tell you all of the power spots. One, giant step and on it, check. Two, Lilliput Steps in Peaceful Rest Valley near Tucson, check. Three, Milky Well in Grapefruit Falls in Saturn Valley, check. Four, Rainy Circle, found by Farku in Winters, check. Five, Magnet Hill at the edge of the City of Foresight, check. Pink Cloud, six, which Tingle knows, check. Seven, and Lumine Hole, where the shiny lichen lives in the cave, Check. Eight. A new place is now going to be opened up to you. Fire Spring, located southwest of here. Listen to the melodies of all eight power spots. If you do not fail, you may upset Gigas's plans. Understand, LP? The time will come, the time when the destiny of you and the whole universe will overlap. It is fast approaching. Oh man, southwest of here, so it seems that we're going to have to hang out in the land of the lost for a bit longer. If we've still got yet another shiny spot somewhere in this vicinity. I think we're all healed up, right? Are we ready to adventure? It looks like that's the case. We've all got new items. Well, not all of us, but a few of us. Half of us. <laughs> so we're ready to check out some stuff. Look at this. There's a cavern. This seems more west than south, but this is probably what the rock meant, right? I don't know. We can go south further here. Uh, there's a dinosaur. You stay down there, hang out with the tree. I'm gonna go check out this cavern just in case it's something at all. Uh, there was obviously still room to further south explore, but hey, let's bridge that cross when we to it come. Uh oh. Uh. Okay, well, I guess we can't do anything here. <laughs> oh, that is not the entrance that we seek. Uh, that is probably the, the right cavern system. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we venture on south here, find another opening, and later on we come to that particular spot. There's another dragon. That's the, that's the mean one. That one hurt. I didn't like that one. Let's see if we can get that to despawn kindly. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh no, they multiplied. That's not not quite what we were going for. Let's, let's try it one more time. Just a little bit of... Okay, it's not working. Okay, we gotta go a little bit further. And there we go. Another delicious orb has spawned. But that's fine. The orb was easy to kill. And I'll take the orb over the purple one any day. And there is an opening right there, but we cannot get to it. Gosh darn it. 
Uh, you, no, you're not coming. You are coming. That that orb needs to make it with mine. It's just over there gyrating like a <laughs> like a chimp on the Fourth of July. What's happening? Oh, that's that's another uh, the HP thing. Cool. Look at this. Another save spot. In case of danger, evacuate here. Cool. What do you do? Phew, the dinosaurs don't come and attack me so I can relax. Except now, I can't get out. Well, you know, that's fine. I'm going to take this opportunity to phone home. Uh, just in case things get hairy. Not fuzzy, right? Because fuzzy's good. We learned that with the pickles. But hairy. If things get sticky, if things get so dangerous that we die, it'd be good to have a, a save point right here where it's relatively close to the cavern. Why did this dinosaur spawn where it's relatively close to the cavern so that if things go awry, we can enter in again easily? Okie dokie, look at this place. Well, they weren't kidding when they when they mentioned fire. Uh, so we've got a room right here. I'm just going to investigate right quickly. Are there any Gorons here? I'll be open the present. There's a speed capsule. Oh my goodness gracious. We're doing drugs in the cavern. Take this capsule of speed. And feed it to LP. Great. Okay. Well, <laughs> no one ever said these were these were respectable children. All right. Let's accost to this piece of fire and see what it is. Uh, Soul-consuming flame. Oh my goodness! If that doesn't sound absolutely horrifying, I don't know what it is. Uh, it's flame, right? It's gonna be weak against ice. Perhaps we're gonna give it a shot. I don't. I don't know if I have any grand illusions of it being super effective or anything. Oh, but it is. It didn't kill it, though, at 350 damage, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we did a lot. Uh, Tingle and Pongo combined did over 400 damage, and that was not enough to kill it. So I am a little bit apprehensive, therefore, going forward to facing these enemies. Uh, we're going to have to... Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to be careful! So we can go east. Yeah, let's let's go east. This soul-consuming fire here. We're gonna fend you off first and foremost. Then we'll enter in that door. No, this is a different individual entirely. This is the psychic psycho. <laughs> oh well, are you also uh, susceptible to ice? We'll figure that out right quickly here. Pongo tried PSI freeze B. It did 264, which is pretty solid. Uh, we're over 500 damage to this guy, and it didn't kill him. Goodness gracious. These these enemies are tough. Um, kind of a curb right there. Uh, we've been having a pretty not easy go of things, but an all right, a mildly easy go of things lately. And the game is kind of, well, stop that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, oh, there's a lot of options for places to go here. Let's go up. You know, like we've mentioned in other LPs, when Nintendo gives you an opportunity to go up, do it. Go up, go left. You encountered the major psychic psycho in the Soul Consuming Fire. Well, how about we toss some eggs at their feet? 40 freaking PSI worth. And then we'll use the strong magic, the strong freeze, and hopefully it doesn't get used against both of them. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, no, it's going to get used against just the one. That's enough to kill that. I don't know that LP and Farku's combined power will be enough to deal with this dude, but... Finger cross! No! Tried PSI shield. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can still get through like this, right? Yeah, perfect. We just wouldn't be able to use PSI. Ooh, PSI fire! Oh, golly, gee williger. No, 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 no! Jam, 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 jam the A button. Mash the A button so that we can get an attack in. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Goodness me, that was a tough dude. Uh, 19,000 experience points, though. Levels up Pongo. Anything nifty? Tingle 53? Nothing particularly exciting. Well, that's too bad. But hey, we get a present. A Horn of Life. Great. Not like I just spent friggin' $7,000 on those, is it? Uh, what is the Mokahokodoka soup do again? Uh, it's high nutrients, and it gives you 80 HP. Yeah, let's use that on LP. Mm -hmm. And what other foods? I think we have another Moko Noko 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 soup somewhere in here. Got DX water. Got the jerky, which is a little bit stronger than we need right now. 
Yeah, I mean the picnic lunch, but that's also a little strong. So we'll use some life up. Well, hold on. Let's double check. I, I need to be certain of what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, so Pongo is missing 90. It's missing 60. It's missing 50. So Pongo gets the PSI life up. And then everyone else is just going to have to suffer. <laughs> We're okay for now, but you just have to be a little bit... No, 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 no. I was afraid that an enemy would spawn again, having gone back in there. We're going to come out and uh, maybe I can make you guys despawn. Oh, God. No, I can't make them despawn. It's fine. So we'll deal with these, and then we'll go in the western door there. The evil elemental. Terrifying. There is some... Some truly heinous enemies here. This is gonna be a tough time. I already know it. And I think we're just gonna rely on PSI Freeze. It's done the best for us, right? Like, two bursts of that is eliminating most of these enemies. It's just finding a way to eliminate two enemies in one turn. Jeez, oh man. They hit so hard, too. Boom! That's what we need more of. We need the smash attacks. That's why we fed you all the speed and guts, LP. Level 62, offense and HP. Well, no more speed, no more guts. But we got a door. With a freaking butterfly. Excellent. It's a little early for it, but hey, whatever. We will life up... Oh, I just wasted that. <laughs> we will life up all of our party members. Because it's five per, and I think the butterfly gives us 20, so it'll be just a net gain of HP, which is great. And Farku's the last one. Perfect. Everyone's maxed out. Rub this butterfly on all of us so that we might relax properly, because we all know there's nothing more relaxing than rubbing a butterfly on your forehead. Oh, God. No! It got the scoop on us! Golly, G. Williker, the evil elemental. Tried to possess me. Gosh darn it, Fark who's been possessed. Son of a snagabadingo. Spy, I don't need you killing anyone because you're possessed. LP smash? LP miss. Great. Spy on the evil elemental. Offense 121. Vulnerable to PSI fire. Ooh, how about that? Well, Pongo, why don't you use some fire on this buddy, huh? And Fark who's spy on it once more for good measure. Did a single damage, cool. PSA fire, how weak to it? Eh, 80, that's not super weak. Figure of the evil elemental mental melted away into thin air. Perfect, just as God intended. Get the heck out of here, he said to himself, so that we can go this way. Uh, do we, I forget, does healing at all help with being possessed? Uh, diamondized, no, we have nothing that helps possession. Great. Great. Okay, well. Just gonna have to ride it out, dude. I'm sorry you got a specter haunting you now from, from the foreseeable future. God knows that. Not certain. Uh, PSI that, and then Farku, you're just gonna continue to spy for us because I really don't trust you. <laughs> uh, tiny little ghost reached out, didn't work, and Farku. 291, uh, dodge that, goodness gracious. Susceptible to brain shock. Golly G. Williker, I hate it how it uses the fire. Please don't use the fire on me. Oh god, and the ghost did 46 damage? What the heck kind of crap is that? Everyone kill it, just do it, just assault it. Perfect. And that ghost that's possessing Farku reached its hand out to Pongo? Is that what I read correctly? Keep your hands to yourself, you munchkin! We got the scoop on that one, thankfully, somehow. Which is great, because that gives us an opportunity to toss some eggs at it, and use some PSI fire, and to shoot it, and to just use some uh, freezy pop. There we go. Oh, we're going to need a lot of help getting through this, I feel like. Uh, I, I Once we were told of this place's existence and how it houses the final uh, shiny spot, I had... Oh, God. Freeze is not good against that. I had half a mind to get excited, right? To, to, to assume that we could get the final shiny spot this episode, but I'm starting to have my doubts. <laughs> starting to have my doubts. I mean, unless we come across it pretty quickly here and have some really good luck with it, 
I don't know, because we don't even have the uh, the bottle rocket thing for Farku, so we're going to be a little bit hamstrung in terms of damage output. IQ by four, that was, that was solid. Might, might not be able to put out the most damage, but we, we're getting intelligent here. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> oh, buddy, the evil elemental. Just get out of here. Reaching out. Don't touch me. Smash attack? Can we get a smash from LP? No, it dodged again. Oh my goodness gracious, we're gonna have to use another life up right quickly because Pongo's life is evaporating right before our very eyes. There's the smash attack that we craved. Delightful. Uh, before I immediately heal Pongo though, well, we're gonna have Tingle level up of course, but I'm going to run west so that we can hopefully get up here. All right. Oh, what? What? How dare it? No. No, 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 no. I was on, I was, I was, oh God. Oh no. Oh God, no. Well, here we go. You know, I, I kind of had, I, I kind of expected something like this to happen. Oh man. Here it is. Yep, the fireballs. Great balls of fire. Run away, run away, run away! It's just you, LP, it's just you, buddy. It's just you, just go. Get in here. And uh, what? I, I don't wanna use like any of the items. I think we might have another, like the secret herb can revive people, right? It might revive someone. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. That seems a little vague. But so, so we do have uh, avenues through which we could explore reviving our teammates, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm just gonna try and explore as much of this as possible so that I'm uh, as equipped as I can be for the next time I come here because this is, at this point, yeah, I, I have no delusions of grandeur, no hopes for, uh, for wrapping this up in this episode. I mean, I say that, right? Watch something crazy could happen, which is why we press forward, go up there. You touched, you didn't touch me. You touched the spirit of my dead friend. How did that count against me? I was already scurrying up the rope sideways like a squirrel. Come on, man. Let me run away. I'm getting out of here. I'm going. I'm gone. I'm ascending. Look at that. Mm, I don't like that. I really... I'm not a huge fan of how my, my friend's spirits can get me into trouble. <laughs> it should just be this. And look at this. We found our way to the demon. The great hoo-ha of them all. There's no way. There's no way, is there? Well, we won't know until we try. So I'm gonna go assault this thing and run away and then start to like heal myself. Soul consuming flame, run away! But couldn't, okay, great. Yes, get a little bit closer so that I can run away! But couldn't, cause he's so close. Speed out a flaming fireball that killed me, great. I'm trying to get out of here, can't you see? Perfect. All right, now let's use the secret herb. Give oh LP L. Maybe. All right, so we need LP to give someone the bag of Dragonite. Just give it to Pongo's dead body, and then Pongo can use or give the herb to LP. And we're going to revive Pongo herself. It didn't work. Okay, great. <laughs> I didn't want her to come back to life anyways, baby. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine, really, but whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out. So we have all sorts of things here. We're going to try and do this with just LP. Is this even possible? What is the brain food lunch again? Help, it restores 300 HP, cool. So we'll keep that. Um, do we have any more of those? The luxury jerky is another strong healer, isn't it? It's gonna give us the whole great description about it. 60 years, he's been eating jerky and squeezing. I don't know, okay, 300 HP, perfect. Uh, so we're gonna grab that, give that to LP. Wait, Pongo. That was weird. I could have sworn it said added to Pongo stuff. It added it to LP. We're going to give the broken harmonica to Jeff, to Farku, 
and then we're going to take one more food item from someone. Uh, the picnic lunch? No, the brain food lunch. That's the strong one. Give that to LP. And then LP's gonna use life up on himself. And we're gonna try and tackle the shiny spot by ourselves. <laughs> you finally got here. This is the 8th, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Well, I dare, but I'm not exactly optimistic. The Carbon Dog. Carbon. Carbon Dog. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, you look like a bunch of flaming carbon. Uh, I'm going to start off with a shield. I think that, that, that sounds helpful. It didn't block the fireball. It deflected some of it. Uh, PSI life up on myself so we don't die. Make it making a howl. Okay, buddy. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Please. And what if I use like a flash? What is that? Didn't work. Okay, just a waste. Great. Do another big attack. Perfect. I'm going to have to use uh, more life up on myself now. Oh, uh, man. This is... Oh god, I, uh, thankfully we put the shield up, otherwise we wouldn't be doing- Oh, well there it goes. I don't know what to say. Otherwise we wouldn't do any damage. Life up again! And please don't- please don't spew a fireball. You did a fireball. You did a fireball, buddy. I told- what did I tell you about the fireballs? Uh, give me this food. Eat this lunch. Uh, this is ob obscene. I don't know. This is impossible. I used the ATM card. What am I doing? No! <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Quick, eat this food before you die. Oh, boy. Charge. My goodness gracious, this dog is so offensive. Heal yourself. Max out your HP. Thank God. Wow. Heal yourself again. Just do it. I don't... I used eggs on accident. It did a lot of damage. Uh, recover. Life up. It says I have zero HP. Can I do it? No, I'm dead. I'm dead. My God, that was terrifying. But at least we got all the way to the end, right? We, we saw the, the guardian and the shining spot. And now we kind of have an idea about what we're getting into so that hopefully we can go kill that vicious beast next time. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you then.